Are they about to do what I think they're about to do in this? Maybe it's in a... Oh my God, you are out with your mother. Apologies in advance. I'm gonna have to mute a lot to cough and stuff. I think I'm over the worst of it. It's just waiting for the rest to go away. I don't know if anyone else has that. Like when you're sick, you're just waiting for the coughing to stop. I've been sick for like three weeks, fam. <laughs> I am so over it. Then my basement flooded. I'm hanging on by a thread, but I'm Musa next up and I got my water. So hopefully we're good. We are playing in Strange Town today, hence the green makeup. We're going for a vibe here. We start with the Curious Brothers. In search of truth and mystery, the Curious Brothers got more than they were expecting. Can Pascal, Laszlo, and Vidkund cope with their new roles as cosmic parents? If it's a boy, like I might name him Tycho because that's canon that Pascal has a boy alien named Tycho. But yeah, if he has a girl, then maybe we can just pick a pick a name that way. Pastel Queen Pascal. I know, I don't know why he's wearing this pastel outfit. It's because I have a default replacement for that maternity wear. As you can see, they overlook like the whole town. This is actually a really cool spot for them to be in my opinion. Like this is, they can see everything from up here. It's really, really cool. But yeah, so the Curious Brothers, their house is meant to kind of look like a lab. Like it's supposed to be like they converted a lab into their home. So this still kind of takes on that vibe. It's just definitely scaled down. It doesn't have like the staircases to nowhere anymore. It took them like 10 years to get up and down. It was just too much. It was just very complicated. If you've seen the original Curious Brothers house, you know, it's just weird. It was, it was, it was cool what they were trying to do. I had to change it up a little bit. I had to. So this is their new house. I'm pretty sure this house is by uh, Plum Tales because that's like where all my house Houses are from, but I will double check that when I edit <laughs> this video. So here's their little like porch. They come in here and yeah, they have a lot of like their nerdy sciencey sci-fi type stuff here. This is like their living quarters. They got like a desk. So yeah, so this is the kitchen. Definitely looks much different than the original kitchen, but still very modern, like that sleek, modern sci-fi vibe to me. Like I really like how they did this. And then there is a bathroom right here and there's a bedroom right here that has a crib in it. So to me, I feel like this is meant to be like Pascal's room because it's like half nursery, half bedroom. And he's about to literally give birth in his little pastel <laughs> kawaii sweater. And then over here, I'm taking this as Laszlo's room. I'll go through the brothers and their personalities afterwards. But basically Laszlo is like the more, I don't know how to even explain him. He's just the most eclectic one, I guess. He's actually probably my favorite. You know, he's, he's not like other Curious Brothers. And then we have an upstairs and this, I guess this is kind of a living room as well. They have a really big TV. They have a bunch of stuff ready for like a toddler, which is cute because we know we're about to have some babies because Vidkund is actually supposed to get pregnant as soon as he looks through the telescope and he gets abducted and gets pregnant with an alien. That's the scripted event for the Curious Brothers. So that's not gonna happen because the scripted events are kind of broken when you move a sim in and out of their home. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna have to try and make it happen. We're gonna try and make him get pregnant, um, but we'll see. It might not might not happen as soon as we as soon as it normally would. Uh, but there's this bedroom up here. I guess this could be for like whenever Pascal's baby grows up. Yeah, they have their own freaking bathroom too. Like fancy. There's another nursery up here, and then we have a downstairs. So this is Vidkin's area. He is a plant boy. Like he's his bio. He loves African violets. He's, he's going to be into like plants and all of that. So I also, I love this. Like, I don't think I've ever even noticed this in the game. And I really love this, this picture. Um, but yeah, so this is Vidkin's, Vidkin's space down here. So still has all the essence of the Curious Brothers and still has that like old lab conversion feeling that the original was supposed to have. It's just more modernized. So this is Pascal. I'm guessing he's the oldest brother. I don't know if it actually even tells you. Like, I mean, we'll find out through his memories. Yeah, so he is the oldest. He's definitely probably, I think the most like, I won't say responsible, but he, he takes on that role of like, he's the oldest brother. He's not friends with either of his brothers, but he's pretty close to it. And he is friends with Nervous Subject, who we will cover 
pretty soon I think we're gonna get to nervous in this playthrough. Now I have genetically correct Sims. So the Pascal, like the Pascal brothers, the Curious brothers all look alike now because before Vidkund was like a wild card. Like he looked nothing. Jenny, Jenny Smith looked nothing like her brothers. That's been fixed. If you're wondering why they look different, that's why I'll have links whenever this is made into a video. I'll make sure to have links to where I got them from, but I'm pretty sure Plum Tales also made the genetically correct versions that I'm using. Plum Tales is my go-to. I'm telling you, Plum Tales is everything to me. And he knows of Cersei Beaker and they're actually on like fairly good terms, which is really weird because she's literally one of the captors of his friend. He has his alien twin sisters, Chloe and Lola, which I'll explain in a minute as well. Um, and then he has his sister, Jenny, which he's also, also pretty close to being friends with her. His niece, Jill, his nephew, Johnny, and he's enemies with Loki Beaker, which is Nervous's other captor. But I'll show you the family tree. The family tree gets weird, okay? This is like very difficult and complex for me to explain. Bear with me. Let's start with Glarn, okay? Glarn started it all. Glarn is their father, all right? Well, who's Glaive? Is Glaive his sister? It's always been kind of questioned whether they were siblings or if she was like his first wife. I always thought that she was more like his first wife just from pictures that I've seen. Like, yeah, okay, so there's this picture here of Glarn and Glaive. And as you can see, there's these two twin alien babies here, right? So even though the clean template associates them as being siblings, I personally feel like they were something else. I mean, they're in a bedroom. It looks like they might share, be sharing a bed. She's freaking out because now they have these twins. So basically, before I get too into that, what happened was Glarn got abducted by an alien and became pregnant with twin girls, Chloe and Lola. And the person who abducted him is Pollination Technician 9, who we'll just call Paul or Polly. Glarn's wife was like, oh my God, what the hell are we gonna do? We got these twins. And then Glarn up and leaves. Glarn said, bye bye He's like, I'm not dealing with twins. Like I didn't ask, I didn't ask for these alien babies. I'm peacing out. And then left his first wife, Glabe, to take care of them. And she did, she raised them. She raised these twin aliens as her own. He leaves her to deal with them. And then he remarries Kitty Curious. And uh, together they have Pascal, Vidkind, Laszlo, and Jenny. Their daughter, Jenny, has her own family now. And her husband is Paul the one that her dad was abducted by and gave her her half sisters. She married him and had his babies, Johnny and Jill. <laughs> it's complicated, it's kind of messy. So as you can see, Glarn, right? Had the twin girls. His first wife was stuck here like, oh my God, what do we do? But he just like left. So, <laughs> so now she had to raise them both. Then you can see Glarn here getting with his second wife and having a whole brood of kids. Like how dare he, honestly, how dare? But they grew up really well. And then Vidkund was romancing Cersei, which we'll get into as well. But yeah, so that's that's the whole like story, I guess, behind them. Pascal, his job is a lab assistant level two. I think they're all in the science career. So they all have degrees. And his symbology. So he is a Scorpio, which would make him a fortune sim for me. I would probably make him a secondary fortune but he is a, a knowledge sim. So he's super neat. He's like super tidy. He likes things neat and orderly. Um, he's between shy and outgoing, lazy and active. He's incredibly serious, like not an ounce of humor in this man. And he's between grouchy and nice. His bio is no matter what happens, Pascal believes there is a logical explanation for everything. In his free time, he practices home psychoanalysis and collects conspiracy theories. Okay, so his one true hobby, it's science, specifically puzzle games. So I have this um, mod, I guess you would call it a mod. It's basically, it adds more stuff for science hobby sims to do because they don't get a whole lot to do in the game as it is. They don't really get a whole lot to do. So it adds more stuff. So he's into like puzzle games. He remembers being potty trained and learning how to walk. And then Vidkind joined the family. Jenny grew up well. So I guess Jenny is actually the oldest. And then he grew up well. And then Laszlo, Laszlo's the baby. But yeah, he learned how to study, of course, because this is a very knowledge, much like the goths without the riches. <laughs> he did get into private school though. He remembers his siblings, his half sisters growing up well, even though he doesn't know them all that well. And then he met General Buzz, lost a fight with General Buzz, met Loki and Cersei, got rejected for first kiss by Cersei. He really wanted 
to be with Cersei, apparently. He lost a fight with Loki. So he was just bullied by everybody in high school, apparently. Poor Pascal. And then he made enemies with Loki. Jenny got engaged. I wonder what they think about this. But yeah, he got his job in science. Apparently Vidkind grew up badly. We're gonna see why in here a little bit. He met Nervous and maximized the creativity skill. And Laszlo grew up well, and then he met aliens and he, we are Pregante and here we are. <laughs> Turn-ons are formal wear and brown eyes. And his turn off is cologne. He is a knowledge sim. I would probably give him a secondary of fortune because he's a Scorpio. And currently his lifetime wish is to become a mad scientist, which is level 10 of his career. Cause he seems very career oriented. It just seems like he's like, that would be what he would want in his life. And then we have Vidkind. So this is Vidkind. Look at him, his little like suspenders. I love his glasses. I feel like they fit him really well. Like I feel like, and he actually looks like more like his brothers now. Like he looks like he's related to them because before he just did not. Um, we already know his his chaotic family tree. I mean, he's actually friends with Laszlo. So even though Pascal's not friends with his brothers, I guess Vidkind is. Still, after all these years, he has a crush on Cersei Beaker. Okay. And he doesn't know Chloe all that well or his other sister. Also, this Trina Dallas, I need to go in and change this. This is actually Crystal Vu, uh, which is a townie in Strange Town. Laszlo has a crush on her, but since this is a sub hood and it's a clean template and everything, it randomizes her name. So her name is Trina Dallas, which I actually don't hate. <laughs> I might go in and change it though. Um, I have to go into Sim PE and do that. And yeah, he doesn't know anybody else all that well, except that he's enemies with Loki, like 100%. While Pascal hates Loki, probably for being a bully. I feel like Vidkund hates him because he has Cersei. He's also a lab assistant level two, just like his brother. And his turn-ons are educated Sims with red hair, hence why he probably loves Cersei so much. And his turn-off is unemployment. He's also a Scorpio, so he would also be a fortune Sim. He's also incredibly neat. He's painfully shy. He's more on the active side, a little bit serious and kind of grouchy. Serious and exact, Vidkin strives to fit the universe into a nice tidy package. He has an unnatural fondness for African violets in his hobby is flower arranging. It literally says he's into African violets. So so he's gonna like hang out down in his, in their basement here and he's gonna like make flower arrangements and stuff. He has a lot of the same memories as Pascal. He learned all of his skills and learned how to study. I believe they all did because they're all knowledge sims. Um, he also got into private school and he actually made best friends with Laszlo, but he's not best friends with Laszlo now, which is interesting. And then once he became a teenager, he lost a fight with General Buzz. So General Buzz was a bully in school. Like who's shocked, you know, who's surprised? Oh, he actually had his very first kiss with Cersei. So while Pascal was rejected, Vidkind was not. And they actually, he actually went steady with Cersei. And then he, pissed himself, <laughs> pissed or shat, we don't know, but he had an accident of some sort and then she broke up with him. <laughs> so this poor man peed himself. I don't know if he peed himself publicly and she was like really embarrassed by it and didn't want to be seen as his girlfriend. So she broke up with him. But yeah, it looks like she broke up with him for Loki because she got with Loki and then Loki became enemies with Vidkind and he grew up badly. Obviously he was not having a good high school life experience. His teenagehood was not it. He got his job. He remembers Pascal meeting aliens and he lost Laszlo as a best friend. And this like just happened apparently in my game. And <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know what he did, but he pissed him off and they're not, they're not friends anymore. And he is a knowledge sim. It says he's a secondary family. Maybe I rolled it with the, um, the secondary aspiration calculator. Maybe that's what I did. Cause that way he's not exactly like Pascal with the fortune secondary. His lifetime wish is to reach the top of his career and have three children reach high levels in their careers as well. I'm pretty sure Cassandra Goff has like the same thing. That's a vidkind everybody. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Laszlo. Laszlo, this is his little makeover I gave him by the way. Like I freaking love Laszlo. He's got tattoos. He's got, I feel like this is just Laszlo. This is Laszlo to me. The stud muffin himself. We already know his family tree. He's friends with Vidkind, not quite friends with Pascal. He has a crush on this Trina Dallas. That's actually Crystal Vu, but I'm pretty sure it's a one-sided crush. I don't think she feels the same way. Interestingly, Laszlo is not enemies with Loki. He's not friends with him, but he's the only one of his brothers who like apparently wasn't bullied by him or bothered by him. And he's actually higher than his brothers in his career. He's level three and he is a Sagittarius, which would make him a pleasure sim in my game. He is completely sloppy, like 
total opposite of his brothers, the unkempt one, that he is the black sheep, right? Like he is the one that just isn't quite like the others. He's also incredibly outgoing, definitely fits the Sagittarius vibe. He's super lazy and he's incredibly playful, like, cannot be serious for a second of his life. And he's between grouchy and nice. Not as studious as his older brothers, Laszlo got his degree in phrenology, which I'm pretty sure is like psychic stuff, right? I'm not entirely sure. He likes to call phone psychics and spends hours trying to bend forks with his mind. I love him. I just, he's so special to me. <laughs> his hobby is games because none of these Sims show up with the games hobby, like none of them. I don't know if anyone else has that issue, but of all the like personality types and stuff, it seems like getting games as a natural hobby, talent, whatever, it never happens in my game, ever. So I gave him games and he's into video games. He also remembers uh, learning everything, growing up well, private school. He learned how to study and all of that. And then once he got into high school, he was also bullied by General Buzz. So B B Buzz has issues. Buzz, we know. We'll get to Buzz, I think, next, next time I stream this. He bullied the hell out of everyone. Laszlo did not get bullied by Loki, which is interesting because he bullied his brothers, but not him. So like, I guess Laszlo was like just cool enough. Or or it could be because Laszlo didn't show an interest in Cersei. That's basically it. He got his promotion. He remembers Pascal meeting aliens and this is where we are. Um, but his turn-ons are underwear and swimwear and creative sims. He wants an artsy gal who just sits at home and paints all day in her underwear. Honestly, I volunteer. He is a knowledge sim with a secondary pleasure. His lifetime want is to win 30 gaming competitions and own all eight video games. Imagine if there were only eight video games in the world. That is, that is Laszlo. That's pretty much it for the Curious Brothers. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in their like lore that I really need to discuss. And I don't think there is. Um, Pascal in his little like pastel, his little pastel sweater, he's about to give birth. I do, as soon as he gives birth though, I wanna have Vidkind get impregnated as well. They're gossiping about Loki. I love that. Oh, he wants to go buy new clothes. He said, I'm over this pastel vibe. Everybody's making fun of me. The best time to wear a pastel sweater is all the time. Turtle neck. <laughs> he wants to talk to Nervous. So, I mean, I guess I can have him call him up. If, if possible, maybe Loki and Cersei are at work and Nervous is able to sneak out. So the only thing is, it's not nighttime. Can we still get him pregnant? If the aliens, if it's not nighttime, can we still get him abducted by aliens? Well, we can at least look through it. Oh my God, he saw Mortimer goth naked. Oh my God. Not Mortimer. Oh, this is Aaron Beaker. So this is Loki Beaker's sister. She's like super cute. Like I love her. Look at her little strawberry dress. So yeah, that's Aaron Beaker. And then this is her roommate, uh, Kristen Lost. She's like the sporty girl. Oh my God. And all of Spectre just dropped from the freaking sky because she's a witch. So all of Spectre came to say hello. Oh my God, Pascal, go entertain. This is going to be your future mother-in-law, probably. Gender prep. So Laszlo is straight. Pascal is gay and Vidkind is straight. Usually Pascal and Nervous are the ones who like get into a relationship and Laszlo has pizza because they always say, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> He's literally, Mortimer ran all the way from freaking Pleasant View. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, wait, God, he couldn't get in because of the toilet. He hid in the bathroom so Mortimer couldn't call him out for looking at him naked. Pascal, I told you to greet everyone, please. Oh my God, he's giving birth, sorry. Okay, apparently Pascal is giving birth. Oh God, she's so cute. <laughs> oh my God, she like doesn't even have an alien face. She's a girl, she doesn't even have an alien face. She's 
she's so cute. What are we gonna name this girl? Okay, so I'm thinking alphabetical. So alphabetically, what do we have? Brandy had Andy. So this is the second baby we've had. So it should be a B name. And maybe something like Celestial. Is there like a constellation that starts with a B or something? What are the names of stars? Black Hole. Stop. <laughs> or ooh, Bellatrix is cute. Bellatrix is a star. It is? Okay, her name has to be Bellatrix then. Because that is so, that is so perfect. <gasps> oh, she's so cute. Oh my God. She literally doesn't even look like an alien though. Like she does not. She is so cute. Like she has alien eyes, but her little face is all like her dad. Like, oh my God, she's so cute. Also, not entirely sure whose car this is. I'm, I'm getting Laszlo vibes, to be honest. This would be Laszlo's car. But literally these, these people came to visit and Pascal gave birth to this adorable little girl. Oh my God, so cute. Vidkin, come look, come see the baby. Aw, cute. So we should probably like feed Bellatrix, I'm guessing. Feed bottle to Bellatrix. So we fed her. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put her in her crib. All right, let's go ahead and eat some freaking pizza. He just gave birth, let him eat the pizza. Oh my God. This man just gave birth. Who just thought who was hot? Kristen is also gay, I'm pretty sure. So was she just checking out Aaron? Oh my gosh, he's about to be insulted by Olive. Ma'am. Oh my God, this is so incredibly awkward. Oh my God, her face, she's gonna freaking put a spell on him. I think we actually are supposed to play her next. Oh my gosh, she's trying to fight us. What did Vidkin do to her? Oh, he is attracted to her, like very much. Enemies to lovers. Oh my God, poke her back. Poke her right in the boob. Yeah, don't act like you don't feel the attraction. He likes a woman who's mean to him. He liked Cersei, she's kind of an evil woman. And now he likes Olive, so. Well, why are we holding her again? I thought we put her, well, go ahead and cuddle her and put her to bed. Have another piece of pizza, you are starving. Anybody else hungry? Vidkind, you can have the last slice. Screw Olive. She doesn't deserve it. Can you get the phone, somebody, anybody? Pascal, is Laszlo available? Sure. All right, go talk to your half-sister. Look how pretty this freaking world is though. The sky and everything, Ugh, I love it. Why are you holding my baby? Aaron. Aaron, please. Aaron wants a baby. Should we go downtown with Laszlo? I mean, I feel like he would. I feel like he absolutely would. And then I guess when we come back, we can have Vidkin get pregnant, hopefully. We'll go, where should we go? Downtown? Is this, this is a karaoke bar, right? Let's go to the karaoke bar. That feels very Laszlo. Oh my God, go change your daughter's diaper. Aaron is like stealing her. Look, she doesn't know what she's doing. Take her, Aaron, put my baby down. Oh my God, literally <laughs> put my baby down. Look at this like karaoke bar, this is so cool. I love this. Did you invite anybody else or is it just us? Oh, it's just us, okay, that's cool. Hi sis, okay, so this is Lola. We'll meet her more probably in the next stream. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to her, chat, try to get to know our sister. He wants to sing karaoke. Wonder if she would sing karaoke with us. Oh my God, Nina Caliente's here. Nina, what are you doing here, Loca? Let's sing with Lola. Hopefully she's down. She doesn't know us all that well, but karaoke time. Oh, is she on a date with this old man, Nina? She's looking to get some free drinks. I love The Sims 2 karaoke so much. I know every song too. Just flexing. Not the boo! Stop. They're trying their best. <laughs> All the boos. Just everyone starts booing them. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Laszlo's giving me the ick a little bit now that he's, <laughs> now that you heard him sing. They're having a good time. He wants to take pictures and make a friend. Oh, she actually, is she, are you joining me automatically? Please do. Join me. We'll take a cute, like funny little picture. Goofy. He would take Goofy for sure. Oh, she's literally on a date with this old man. Nina, you see this. They're all so bad. You know who would actually be really good is Pascal. He has a maxed creativity skill. Oh my God, you're greeting Nina. You could watch her. Okay, he's okay. All right, he can get down with it. Ale oogie oo oo. This takes me back. Like I would literally just, sing along 
when they were doing karaoke my whole childhood like i know every song <laughs> kind of cute together oh god nina is so like ugh, that would be so hard to get him to settle down with her if he wants to i don't know he's a settling down type himself are you eating somebody's leftover food buddy please no no go ahead commit commit if you're gonna be weird you might as well commit to it oh he is not attracted to nina at all this is a fun little hangout but um we're done and and casual group that was a really good time thank you no problem girl i'll sing karaoke with you any day sis he's due home at 147 oh my god in the morning can we please for the love of god oh my god she is kicking his ass be disgusted by what who put this trash here who put this here is he did you get your baby back you go get your baby back baby back baby back all right cuddle maybe feed her again it's been a while right all right and aaron's still hanging out making making drinks with a vidkund Ooh, interesting oh she's admiring vid he's like i am not having it you are way out of my league don't even pretend she's getting all the baby fever from bellatrix leave that baby alone aaron it's getting weird aaron <laughs> aaron my baby needs to sleep She's like, I watched her be born. I'm attached. All right, Vidkind, can you go and get abducted yet? I guess we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way and have him stargaze like constantly. Come on, you can get abducted. I believe in you. <gasps> oh my God, he's getting abducted! Huh? Oh my God, yes! <laughs> it's happening! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Now she has the baby. I give up on this. He's back. Welcome back. <laughs> you missed your brother getting abducted by freaking aliens, though. You missed it. His needs are everywhere. Oh my god! Look at the time. I better go. People around here getting abducted and stuff. Oh, she's trying to say goodbye. Bye. Thanks for watching me give birth. Thanks for holding my hand. What? Oh, he's coming back. I'm like, wait, what are we doing? I thought Laszlo was getting abducted or something. <laughs> he's gonna grab his butt. Watch, watch. <laughs> um, let's serve some breakfast. Some Count Chocula, everybody. <laughs> let's have some Count Chocula. Why is she crying? Is he pregnant now too? It's said in the Prima guide that every, like every male sim will get pregnant with an abduction, but I wasn't sure if that was actually true. Oh, okay. You don't have to tell me twice. You don't, okay, I get it. Another alien, Nubu. Yes, apparently we are in fact Pregante. I do have that multiples mod. Let me just make sure. Multiple birth odds. Twins are 15%, quads is five and or triplets is five and quads is one. Like I wouldn't mind actually having twins at some point. Like I might up the chances of twins a little bit. But on that note, we're gonna end off with the Curious Brothers. Why only one? Cause, oh my God, could you imagine? Quads is so, that's four math with wit. Four babies, four whole people that I have to like play rotations with. Like your population will get out of control so quickly. Who is buried in Olive Spectre's garden? Will the mysterious aging outcast leave her fortune to her niece, Ophelia, or as rumored to an unnamed heir? So as we know, Olive is officially a witch. I did make her a witch in my game and she has custody of her niece, Ophelia. I'm gonna explain why. It's a lot, but first I'll show you the house. <laughs> so this is a renovated version of the Spectre house. This is by Fratana. And yeah, as you can see, it's just, it's just, prettier i don't know it's just much prettier and here are all the here are all of our graves we've got them all so this is the new specter house here we have the dining table obviously this is where olive sits she's the head of the house she would have that fancy ass chair uh this is her kitchen very very beautiful i love all the vines and stuff everywhere the ivy it's really pretty we have our bathroom this is olive's bedroom and then here is the living space and then this is Ophelia's bedroom. And then upstairs, we have like a little seating area and a bathroom. And then in here is Olive's like witchcraft room. This is where she casts her spells and has her cauldron and all of that. And then this is an empty room here. We could just say is like 
the killing room if we want to. I will show you Miss Olive here. She is really cute though. I do have her genetically corrected, as I said before. Pretty much everybody in Strange Town is genetically corrected. Oh my gosh, she's attracted to Laszlo a little bit. Interesting, interesting. So, where to start? Her family tree. Her parents were Peponi. Muenda and Lorado Muenda. And she had a sister named Willow, who is the mother of Ophelia. So we know that Olive is Ophelia's aunt. Ophelia uh, got married to Ichabod. That was her most recent husband, Ichabod Spectre. We will find out that there are a lot more than just Ichabod. Um, she did have a child, Nervous. And Nervous Subject is the child of Olive Spectre and the Grim Reaper. Like it's canon. The Grim Reaper is his father. Um, she doesn't have like any friends. She knows her son a little bit. It looks like they're, they should be closer. Um, and she's attracted to Laszlo. And she doesn't get along with like anyone, especially Buzz Grunt. And now apparently Vidkund is like her newest, her newest enemy for some reason. She was a professional party guest, which is level 10 of the slacker career. And she wants to retire. So I'll have her retire here in a little bit. She's a Scorpio. So she would be a fortune sim, but she's a knowledge sim. She's super neat. Between shy and outgoing, lazy and active, she's more serious and she's grouchy, which I think we could all probably guess that. Olive will stop at nothing to get what she wants. She spends her time collecting mushrooms, sharpening sticks and excavating her yard. Olive's hobby is science astronomy she's into uh looking at the stars and constellations and all of that so she learned all of her skills by it looks like her mother not her father she did learn how to study from her dad and then she grew up into a teenager and then she met this danielle greaves which i'm pretty sure is a townie and then boom danielle died Interesting. Did she have her first kill as a teenager? Is that what this is saying? Anyway, she grew up into an adult and met Earl E. Demise, made besties with him, got her job, kissed him, fell in love, got engaged, and then he left her at the altar. He left her at the altar and then died. It's giving like you vibes, like the show, like she killed someone as a teenager and now she can't stop. And then Tim Lee Demise died. So I'm guessing that was his brother. Got a promotion, Matt Patrick, Patrick died, whoopsies. And then she remembers her sister getting engaged to Creon here. And she met Melissa and then Melissa died. And then her mother died. It looks like her mother wasn't even an elder yet and she died, interesting. And then her dad died. So both of her parents died around the same time. She met Jessica, this maid, and then she died. Uh, she met Rigor Mortis, kissed him, made out with him. And then even the exterminator or repo man or whoever this guy is, he died. She fell in love with Rigor Mortis, got engaged and apparently moved in with him or moved into, is this his house? Um, but got married to him, apparently he was a rich sim. And then he died immediately. She reached the top of her career, met Vicky, Vicky died. She met <laughs> Hugh, Thanasia, besties with him, got married to him, he died. Well, Luthanasia died first, that's his brother, and then Hugh died. Then she had her very first woohoo with the Grim Reaper. Met Nut, <laughs> and then Nut died. And then met Luke, Luke died. And then she gave birth to Nervous Subject. And then Nervous, got taken away by the social worker. I can't believe I let my child slip away from me. If I get a chance to be a parent again, I will never let this happen. So he was taken from her by social services. That's how she lost him. She didn't give him up for adoption. He was taken. Probably because people thought it was suspicious that everyone disappeared around Olive. They probably didn't think he was safe. Personally, I don't think Olive would have let anything happen to her own child, but yeah, it's suspicious that this lady, that all this death happens around, like they took him away from her. And then she met Ichabod Spectre and made out with him, got married to him, and then he died. And she met Lila Grunt. And Lila Grunt is the ex-wife of Buzz Grunt, the guy that is the military guy who would bully the heck out of everybody in high school. And then she died. So now Buzz hates Olive because she died on her property. Why would she die on her property? Her sister's husband died and then her sister died. I don't know if she was related to like what happened there. And then she got custody of Ophelia. My theory is that she would kill people because her one true love was the Grim Reaper and she just wanted to see him again. She And she had to kill to get what she wanted. She had to kill to see her love. And her turn-ons are supernaturals and bad reputations. <laughs> literally the Grim Reaper. And she's turned off by a good reputation. She wants a bad boy, the baddest boy, if you will. She is a 
uh, knowledge sim with a secondary fortune. And her lifetime wish is to reach peak magic alignment and cast 100 spells as a witch. So she's really gonna lean into her, her witchiness. One of her scripted wants is to invite Buzz over, probably to try and kill him. I'm not gonna kill him, but she probably wants to. And then Ophelia wants to go out with Johnny. So this is Ophelia, this is her niece. She's so freaking pretty, I love her. Ophelia is kind of like a little bit of an emo goyle. Her family tree, I mean, we pretty much already know her mother was Willow and her father was Creon. And then, you know, they, they died. She is actually in the negative with Olive and she is going steady with Johnny Smith. And Johnny Smith is the nephew of the Curious Brothers. She's also friends with Rip Grunt, which is Buzz Grunt's son. He has three sons. She is friends with Rip, but uh, Rip is actually gay, I think. I believe they're not like attracted to each other in any way. But yeah, that's pretty much all she knows. She doesn't know a whole lot of people. She doesn't have a whole lot of friends. Um, she's a public school student. She's an A student. So she's pretty good in school. She is a Virgo. So she would be a knowledge sim for me, but she's actually a family. She's a little on the sloppy side. She's a little more outgoing. She's between lazy and active, a little bit serious and a little bit nice. Ophelia's hobbies include hypochondria and monitoring the air quality. <laughs> she worries about the future and the past and the present. We love a neurotic girly, I relate, honestly. Um, and her hobby is music, specifically singing. So she's gonna wanna be a little a little singer, which is kind of cute. Um, but she remembers uh, meeting her aunt when she was born, apparently, and then learning all of her skills. And it looks like she became a child and met Rip in childhood. So she met him in like elementary school and she actually met his mother too. And she met Johnny. So she met Johnny in childhood as well. And then Ichabod died and then her parents died all at like the same freaking time. And then she moved in with her aunt, Olive and grew up badly, obviously, like her parents died. Like that's pretty tragic. And then she became besties with him when they were in high school and met his like whole family, kissed him, fell in love with him and went steady with him. She's attracted to creativity and green eyes. And yeah, she is a uh, family sim. So yeah, I'm supposed to have her retire. Let's go ahead and call work. So she's supposed to die in their scripted event, but she's not going to, cause she's actually quite a bit younger than she is in just the base game. Who's here? Hello, you wanna die? All right, retire. We're gonna have her retire from her job. She's gonna go into full-time witchery. <laughs> a pension of 300, wow, that's great. And she wants to invite General Buzz over. I, I mean, he's not gonna come over. There's no way. There's no way he would come over. Yeah, his, well, he's not even home, but he wouldn't come over anyway. Look, she hates Vidkund, why? Why do you hate Vidkund so much? Okay, you're playing the piano. You're supposed to be a little singer, but I don't have like a microphone. I could get her one. Um, you did that, girl. You did that. You did a thing. You gotta suck before you get good. That is unfortunately true. And that's why I literally like give up on every hobby that I ever try because I want to be good right away. Who are you chatting with? Mortimer Goth. Study the path of darkness. I don't know. Give her something to do. Oh, we got, we got friends. Who dare come to greet me? Not Herb Oldie and Denise Jack Jacket. She's like from Blue Water Village. Also, Ophelia ages up in only four days. So I don't know if she's actually gonna be able to go to college. If she rolls the want, then I will, but what are you doing? Tell him stand up. Denise, Denise, Denise. She would probably have to serve her own lunch, right? Make her own food, an Italian sub. And then I need to ask her if she can go out with Johnny. I don't know what time they go out. Ophelia, are we still friends? Rip, please. I am going through so much crap in my life right now. Do not even. Bro, I just lost my parents. I'm living with my psycho aunt who's like evil and kills everyone. I will call you and I will talk to you, but you need to chill out and let me live my life. How do you cast? I don't even know how you cast spells. Like I haven't done that in forever. Cast spell. Okay. I can't do any of it right now. <laughs> Apparently, I think I have to make like regents and stuff and like, oh, so much work, you know. All right, I'm gonna have her try and ask permission to go out. Yeah, I haven't played with witches since probably Apartment Life first came out. And even then I don't remember anything about it. Oh, she said no. <gasps> Looks like we're gonna have to sneak out, friends. She's so controlling. Let me take a bath, creeper. Oh my God. Oh my God, nervous. 
<gasps> my baby. Yeah. Talking about getting married. He snuck out and wants to hang out with his mom. Sure. I'm not taking Ophelia. She wouldn't be allowed. But while she's gone, she can invite over Johnny. Go to a cafe, maybe? I should have had them go bowling. That would have been fun. Oh, Pascal's here too. Oh, he wanted us to meet his friend and the one that he probably has like a little crush on. Oh my God, cute. I'm not really hungry, son. Can we go somewhere else? <laughs> I'll go pee here, but now that I know where we are, I kind of want to go like bowling or something. Your Sim does not want to use witchery for good. Okay, relax, you're evil. We're gonna go bowling, I think would be a good idea. So we're gonna go to Sim Bowl Lanes and go bowling with our son and his boyfriend. Actually, they're not boyfriends yet, but they will be. Are you using the Cat Addy downtown? I'm not using, I didn't know they had like an actual downtown download. I just downloaded like all of their lots and put them in my game. <laughs> I do everything the hard way, I swear. But yeah, uh, pretty much all of these were by Katadi, all of these makeovers. Let's go play, let's go bowling, everybody. Don't, no, don't check out some other guy. You got nervous right here. <laughs> oh my God, they're having their first kiss, oh my God. Not in front of your mom. <laughs> Not in front of your mother. <laughs> Yay. Oh my God, they have crushes on each other now. If they go off and woohoo though, it's gonna get really awkward, but she's pretending she did not see. She's like, I don't wanna make it weird. But they just had their first kiss in front of his mother. <laughs> I love when this stuff, like I don't even make it happen. The game just, you know, ACR takes over. Love how they go right back to bowling, like nothing happened. I love how bowling gives you a body skill. Like if I just go bowling all the time, I'll get ripped. I love that idea. Where are you going, son? Oh, he's getting something from the vending machine. Okay, that's cool. Pascal, wait, I wanna get to know you. Where are you going? Oh my God, I'm waiting for them to like go woohoo. Oh, is he hungry? Oh, he's going to the bathroom. Oh yeah, they put like an arcade here, which is so, like, I love that. Cause every bowling alley I've been to, they have like an arcade. All right, let's bowl. We just had our first kiss in front of your mother. Oh my God, Brandy Broke is here. Girl, how can you afford this? Oh, Laszlo's here. Hi, bro. Why don't you get to know him a little bit? She probably hates him. She hates everyone. She hates his brother. She's like sworn enemies with Vidkund. And I don't know why that happened, but it, it just did. Queen Brandy. Queen behavior, honestly. Oh, we're arguing with him. No, stop, Olive. Olive, stop. Don't argue with him. That's gonna be your son-in-law. Stop. Stop, Pascal. Stop checking out other guys. Oh my God. He's over here eating his chips by himself. You sound like a preschool teacher trying to round up their kids. Patricia! Are they about to do what I think they're about to do in this? Maybe it's in a... Oh my God, you are out with your mother. Oh, but they're in love now. And that's what matters. Maybe it's innocent and then it's like rocking. And I'm like, um, yeah, just being goofy, you know, just being goofy goobers. On that note, I think I'm gonna go. It's like 3 a.m. I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm, a, I'm officially uncomfortable. ACR is wild. ACR really likes to spice things up. And while she's gone, we're gonna be with Ophelia and Ophelia is gonna invite over Johnny. Oh no, does she come home immediately? <gasps> no, she did not. <gasps> community time. Okay, community time mod works for me sometimes and other times it just doesn't. I'm still gonna invite him over though while she sleeps. I'm gonna invite him over and she should stay asleep. So this would be so terrifying just out your window. Here's Johnny, Johnny's little makeover. I love him so much, I love Johnny. Um, we're gonna greet him. He also has genetically corrected, like a gen genetically correct face. So he actually looks like his uncles and like his mom looks like the Curious Brothers now. So yeah. He looks a lot younger, right? Like he's just, they're just these cute little, oh my God, ACR is taking over, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, relax. She's gonna grab his ass. Oh my God, she's awake. She's right in the other room. We gotta like sneak him in here. <laughs> I don't think I have Teen Woohoo enabled. I don't believe. All right, go to the bathroom and go back to sleep. There you go. I don't know if a ghost woke her up or what. Look at them kissing amongst the ghosties. How romantical. Oh my God, they just cannot keep their hands off each other. 
Yes, an emo, an emo romance. They're so cute though. I love them together. She wants to play with him. Okay, I'll give him a little tickle. <laughs> oh, she wants to appreciate him. Give him a back rub. Why not? Okay, she wants to, oh my God. Oh, she's, he's saying goodbye. Okay, it's late. Okay, bye, I love you. And she still doesn't want to go to college. She just wants to be with Johnny. That's like all she wants in life. The Beakers, what experiments are the highly secretive and less than neighborly Loki and Cersei Beaker performing on poor, poor nervous subject? Will this secrecy affect Cersei's career ambitions? So yeah, this is the Beaker house. This was made by Plumtails. Up here, this is where we do our living, our dining. This is our kitchen area. And then we have a bathroom here. Apparently they have a pool like right outside too. Um, and then we have this hallway here and a bathroom. And this is like the lab. This is where we have all of our stuff. And this is where we experiment on nervous and you know, all of that, all that jazz. You like jazz? And then we have a spiral staircase here that come, kind of looks like a little tower. It's kind of cool. Uh, but we have a bedroom here. I think they do want kids possibly. So I guess, you know, this will come in handy at some point. They have a nursery, like they're ready for kids. They have this like, I guess office space here. And this is their bedroom. And then there's another staircase that goes up to the roof and they can like stargaze and stuff like that. If we come back down to where the lab is, there's a downstairs to the basement. And this is where Nervous is. Like he's in an actual like prison. <laughs> this is an actual, like he has a bed, a sink and a toilet. Like this is jail, only he has a TV and a mini fridge. So like his needs can be met here, but he's, yeah, he's literally like locked here. Poor, poor Nervy. Poor Nervy. Look, he wants to flirt. He just wants to live his best life with Pascal. So starting off with Loki, um, his family tree. So he's the son of Bjorn and Gundrun Beaker. And he has a sister, Aaron, who we saw earlier that was like obsessed with Pascal's baby. And then this is his wife, Cersei. And she's the child of Xanthos and Grain Salamis. Salamis. I don't know if I'm saying any of that right. That's his little family tree. He has, is pretty close with his wife. They're pretty attracted to each other. They have a pretty good relationship going. He's actually almost friends with Nervous, which is interesting. He's enemies with Pascal and Vidkind, probably because he bullied them so much in high school. And he knows they had a thing at the time for his current wife. Like, boy, you got her. You got her, you're married to her. Like, why are you, why are you so like angry with them? He is level six of the science career and he's a inventor. He is a Capricorn. He is super neat, very outgoing and super active. He's completely serious, not a single sense of humor, not a drop of sense of humor in this boy. And he is incredibly mean. He has isn't nice at all. As soon as he perfects his latest invention, Loki is sure to get the recognition he knows he deserves. In the meantime, he keeps himself busy by trying to assemble a nuclear reactor out of common household items. Very basic bio, like this is literally just, like that's who he is. He's this crazy inventor who goes too far. He is into science, astronomy. So he's also into looking at the stars and stuff like that. He learned everything, of course he did, by his mother. Grew up well, got into private school, and his sister was born. He learned how to study from his dad and he got an A plus report card. So he did really well in school. Sister grew up well, he grew up well into teenhood. He met General Buzz Grunt and he was actually bullied by Buzz. And apparently that turned him into a bully as well. Thank you, Buzz, you've ruined everyone. Buzz bullied the hell out of everybody in this freaking high school. And then he met all the curious kids, met Cersei and fought Pascal and one, of course, that'll teach that pest to get on my nerves again. Who else wants a piece of me? Had first kiss with Cersei, made enemies with Vidkind, and then went steady with Cersei. Got his job, grew up, all that stuff. Fell in love with her, got engaged, got married, did woohoo. <laughs> and then Nervous joined the family. So like they adopted him, I'm guessing when he was a teen. Yeah, cause he just grew up badly. Buzz is Strange Town's biggest issue. I feel like Brandy Broke could mellow him out a lot personally. He's attracted to educated Sims with bad reputations. He is a knowledge Sim, which would be accurate for his Capricorn sign. He is a secondary family, I think, cause I think I did the secondary aspiration calculator and that's what it came out to be. He's actually kind of a family man underneath. So Cersei, we already know her uh, family tree. 
We know that she has a good relationship with her husband. She's actually close to being friends with Nervous as well. Very interesting. Very interesting. She's also friends with Callista and Craig. I don't know if they're co-workers. And she's not actually enemies with anyone. She is in the medical career intern, which is level four. She is a Capricorn as well. She's also super neat between shy outgoing, incredibly active and completely mean and serious. Cersei knows 238 different ways to make someone scream and none of them are nice. She enjoys taxidermy and collecting coat hangers. It makes it sound like Cersei is the tormentor out of the two. Like she's the one who enjoys the torturing. Like I feel like Loki, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I feel like Loki is the scientific one. He's the one that just wants to experiment and he wants to figure things out. And she just enjoys the torture. Her hobby is science biotech. I'm pretty sure that's the medicine, like you can make medicine and stuff. And so she's gonna want to make medicine, which makes sense because she is in the medical career. Her memories, so she learned everything she needed to know, grew up well, met the curious siblings, had her first kiss with Vidkund, went steady with him, and then she broke up with him. We were hot, but now we're cold. I guess I need to find those other fish they say are in the sea. So she literally broke up with him because he peed himself. And then she kissed Loki for the first time and then went steady with him. And Vidkins just hated them ever since, apparently. He's had, he's held that grudge. They fell in love, got married. We kind of already know all of this. And then Nervous joined the family. She's turned on by talented Sims who are hard workers and she's turned off by unemployed. She's also a fortune Sim with a secondary knowledge. I think that's actually because she has a, a token for knowledge. So she's meant to be you know, a secondary knowledge. He wants to raise a wonder child. So a child that like learns everything, gets straight A's, all that jazz. She wants to become chief of staff. She wants to be the top of the medical career. Then we have, <laughs> as we go down to the jail, Mr. Nervous. We already know his family tree. We know that he is the child of the Grim Reaper and Olive. And as far as relationships go, his only actual friend is Pascal. And now he's in love with him as we saw at the bowling alley. And yeah, he's actually the closest with Cersei, which is interesting, but they're not friends. He's unemployed, obviously. Yeah, how do we think he sneaks out? Do we think maybe Loki forgets the keys and lets him go? Like, what do we, how do we think he sneaks out here? He is an Aquarius, so he would be a pleasure Sim in my game, but he is a family Sim. I don't know if this is because he was like neglected as a child or like or like what it was or if it's because he was tormented and they messed with him so much that his personality just like doesn't even make sense but he is entirely sloppy entirely shy super active that's the one thing he's got he's active and he is incredibly serious and grouchy his hobbies include twitching and blinking a lot his hobby is cuisine cooking and i feel like that makes so much sense for him because like he's probably lived the majority of his life not getting good meals. You know, he has a mini fridge for God's sake. Like he lives off of Doritos and Chex Mix, which fine, but having a nice home cooked meal would be, is like a foreign concept to him. So I think that's why he's gonna be so into cooking once he finally gets out of here. And maybe he'll be a little chef or something. I don't know, we'll see. Literally his memories are just growing up badly. Like that's, that's it. He met Loki, met Cersei, moved in with them, met, the Curious Brothers grew up badly again, had his first kiss. We saw all of that. <laughs> yeah, they're, they had their first woohoo even. They even woohooed, oh my God. Yeah, so that's, that's it for his life. That's all he knows. He's turned on by glasses and talented Sims. His turn off is underwear. He is a family Sim. So he would be a secondary pleasure, which I think makes sense for him. Cause again, he's gonna wanna enjoy the little pleasures of life once he gets out of here. And his lifetime wish is to graduate three children from college. He wants his future kids to have the life that he was gypped out of. I just, I don't know. I love him. I feel like he's gonna be a great dad. I hope he's gonna be a great dad. His personality is a little um out of whack, but hopefully he's a, he's a, he's a, good, a good husband and father. So it looks like Loki grew up grumpy. He's smashing, I'm guessing his sister's dollhouse or maybe his, I don't know smashing a dollhouse here. So he's always been a bully. And as you can see, Pascal is here tickling Cersei and he's not having it, he's jealous. So that's why he bullied Pascal because he knew Pascal at the time had a crush on Cersei. And look, you can see them fighting and they're all gathered around. There's Jenny Smith. The other, oh my God, this is um, Buzz Grunt. This is Vidkind, this is Laszlo. They're all watching 
the fight go down. Look, like he's waiting to get like adopted and brought in by them. And they're like, well, we could use him. We could, we could use him for an experiment. And so they did. So I don't know if they so much adopted him as they just took him in. Like maybe he was a teen, maybe he was a runaway. It looked like he was outside their door. Like maybe he was a runaway and he ran away from, you know, social services or whatever and ended up there. So Loki is off to work and we're supposed to help her get a promotion. I don't know. Oh, she's so not getting that if she doesn't hurry up and go. Walk to work. All right. So they're going to work and he's stuck here. This is, this is Nervous's day. Okay. This is what he does on the daily. Sits in his cell watching TV. So they're at work until like six and 7 PM. Should we have Nervous make a jailbreak? Should we, I mean, we can always say that like they forgot to check him before they left for work that day and he was able to get out somehow. But Rod Humble, Rod Humble came by and heard his screams. <laughs> but I feel like he would be scared. I feel like, I feel like maybe either Loki or Cersei. I don't know who would go easier on him, but I feel like one of them kind of like got soft like if he was good and was on his best behavior letting them do their experiments then they would let him kind of roam a little bit but i think it'd also be hard for him to leave because this is what he's he's gotten used to you know he wants to flirt should we call pascal and he'll tell him like you know i think i'm ready to get out of here to his escape i don't know should he move in with pascal or should he move in with his mom because technically if she was going to leave her estate to someone i feel like it would be to nervous Ophelia is gonna move out pretty soon, probably. He should live with his mom first and eventually with Pascal. Yeah, that's what I think. I'm gonna um, invite over Pascal. Can my, sure, bring your friend. Oh my God, he can eat the garbage. That is so sad to me that he can eat the garbage. All right, who'd you bring? Paul, who is this? Oh my God, he really wants to flirt. Okay, Goose. Oh my God, he wants to get engaged. He wants to get engaged to Pascal. That's so cute. Yeah, he's so shy. He's like, Hooray! oh my God. Hooray. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Nervous is getting up the nerve, no pun intended, to actually leave. Like, I feel like he's gotten used to this. He doesn't hold any ill will toward them. To him, they still took him in and they gave him a roof. They gave him a TV and a mini fridge. Pascal is trying to convince him like this is not what life should look like. I think it's taking him a while to kind of understand that. Oh, oh look, Chloe and Lola are here. Oh, and Kristen. So this is Chloe Curious in my game. She's got the tats and she's got like, she's so freaking cute. I love her. Ask to form a casual group. I gotta be done by six though. I gotta be back by six. <laughs> and then let's walk to a community lot together. And we'll go to, where can we go to? The Golden Rattlesnake. That's a bar that I put in here. Ooh, there's this shopping center. I think we'll go here. Just go out on the town with our boyfriend. Look, he wants to smuscle, drink juice. He wants to do all the simple things he's never allowed to do. But yeah, so this was renovated, I think by Katati, I'm pretty sure. And I put like, I put this here. I put this skating, skate rink here. Oh, Aaron Beaker's here. And we have a, we have a break dancer. Oh, badass. Okay, we're pretty hungry. We should go be seated. Where is Pascal? Is Pascal not here? No, Pascal was supposed to come with us. I know, I love the diner makeover. It's very like spacey. I like it. Did Pascal just not come? He just did not follow us. Okay. Damn it, Pascal, you ruined all my plans. Oh, there, he realized he loves cuisine. He wants to be a chef someday. So since we can't just teleport him here, I guess we'll go home. <sighs> I swear. I was gonna have them like propose here. It'd be so cute, like by the skating rink or something. Skip out on Bill and then walk home. <laughs> Hurry up, walk home, walk home, walk home, walk home. Walk home, oh my God, he was caught, he was caught. <laughs> no, <laughs> what is a poor captive boy supposed to do? He doesn't have a wallet. He's now, now my community time works now that I don't want it to. Cause now he's gonna get home after them. He's gonna get caught by Cersei and Loki. I know, this is not what I wanted. And now Pascal's gone. And here's Cersei. Did she get promoted? Cersei wants to bring Mallory home, sure. Oh my God, we got promoted. That's what she wanted. And now she wants to buy a bunch of stuff, a massage table. Oh my God, okay. So she's gonna be entertaining her guests. She's not necessarily gonna be um, paying attention to what's you know, what he's doing. Okay, he's home, he's home. Oh, Cassandra, Lothario, and Pat. Oh, there's Pascal, why? Okay, I'm gonna do an engagement. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, not in front of Logie. 
Se pone eh, Pueden en el cerebro Who will clear now? He went downtown and stole this ring. That's what that was. <laughs> oh my god. Right in front of Loki. And Loki's like, oh damn, the phone's ringing. I better go answer that. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> All right, we need to hurry up and get him out of here. We need to get him out of here. Let's just go ahead and end the casual group. Oh my god, Olive is asking about nervous. Ooh. Is he available to talk? No. He's not. He's coming to poke. Oh my God. He's going to come and attack Pascal. Oh my God. Oh my God. And he, you need to stick up for him. Argue with him. Say that is my now fiance. This is so <laughs> blown out of proportion. Throw a drink. Oh my God. Okay. We can get out of here. You know what? I'm going to leave. I don't need to take this. Look, there's a witness. Mallory's here. Find own place. He's finally ready to make that decision. Um... They're too distracted. They don't even know what's going on. <laughs> gotcha, <yeah. laughs> they were too distracted doing that to realize what he's doing. He's leaving. Oh, they just realized. Oh my God. Run, Nervous, run. Yeah, you better wave. Bye. Um, her needs are going down very quickly. I could easily check. Yeah, she's pregnant. <laughs> she's... Pregante, oh no, not these people being pregnant. Oh my God, not these people having a baby. They were too busy making a baby to realize he was leaving. Don't worry, honey, we'll find another. We'll find another one. Who will be next? That is the question. Who's gonna be the next one that they have captive? So that's pretty much it for today's stream. In the next one, we will be doing Smith and then Grunt and then Singles and Loner. We'll be done with our Strange Town introductions and then we can actually get into like the full rotations of stuff, which is gonna be fun. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's stream. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it and for welcoming me back. Have a good day or night wherever you are and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.